What's happening, everybody? Black Reality TV. Back with another video. I'm going to do something different this video. I want to make a response video. I normally don't do a lot of response videos, but I want to do a response video to um, the brother, Too Raw for TV. He did an excellent video just now talking about Gordon Hayward. And um, I agree with a lot of the things he was saying. And he, I do feel like he's getting somewhat of a pass uh, from the media. Um, he hasn't performed up to his contract. I mean, signing a four-year, um, $128 million contract. Now, we know that Gordon Hayward got hurt his very first year during the contract. In uh, Two Off of TV, he mentioned Paul George um, comparison. And I did the same thing, and I, and I talked to a brother in LD, LDBC off the record. We didn't do a video talking about it. And I, and I did. I made a lot of the same points that Two Raw for TV was making, but I sat back and I thought about it after he broke it down to me, and 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 it, I forgot about it. It you can't compare the situations because it's two totally different situations, and I'm gonna tell you why. And I know this commentary might surprise a little bit, a lot of people, but you know, hear me out on this one. Now I pulled up um, Paul George's numbers, and I pulled up Gordon Hayward's numbers coming off the injury. Right now, we got to remember Paul George got hurt after the 2013 2014 season when he suffered that gruesome leg injury trying to do a chase down block during the summer showcase games 2014. This happened during the summer, right? Gordon Hayward got hurt the first game he played with his new team last season against the Cleveland Cavaliers, messing his leg up. Now, the difference between Gordon Hayward and and Paul George's Paul George had a longer time to recover. We got to remember that people. We got to remember that Paul George did have a longer time to come back from his injury. He got hurt during the summer. Gordon Hay Gordon Hayward got hurt during the first game, right? Now, Paul George during the, after the injury during the 2014-2015 season. He played in he played in just only 6 games. He averaged Minutes per game, he averaged 15 minutes per game, 41% from three. Close to nine points a game, close to four boards, uh, one assist, one steal, 72% uh, free throw percentage. Now, now let's look at Gordon Hayward's number. Now, Gordon Hayward has played um, on average 11. Let me see. I just want to get all this information right. He's played in, on average, 11 more minutes per game, right? Uh, points per game, 10 points, 10.6 points per game, 3.4 assists uh, per game, and 4.6 rebounds per game with 26 minutes, 41% uh, from the field, 31% from three, and 84% from the free throw line. Now, if you was to put... Paul George's numbers in a simulated like Paul like Gordon Hayward was like playing as far as the games bound to play and he still will be averaging more points, more rebounds, and more assists than Paul George. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people are comparing he came back and he bounced back from the leg injury. Yes, because he had more time to recover. Now, let me look at now. I got his 2015-2016 stats, right? Now, this is the year after he suffered. So, he had he had all the season to come back, get healthy, right? And the off season. Because, like, like I said, you got to remember, he got hurt during the summer. Now, let's fast forward to 2015-2016 season. He averaged 35 minutes per game, uh, shot 37% from three, uh, points per game, 23.1, rebounds, seven points, around, yeah, seven, seven rebounds a game, four assists, and close to two steals a game. We have to judge Gordon. If we're going to compare Gordon Hayward to Paul George, we have to do the same thing that we did with Paul George. We had to look at his numbers the following season, and then we can make that comparison. But for right now, we cannot make that comparison. Then you got to take in effect that he's playing with new teammates. 
that first game he got hurt, that was only the first, it, was, it wasn't like it was during the middle of the season, y'all. It was the very first game that he that he played with his new team. He got hurt what five or six minutes in, so he really didn't get he didn't really get the feel of his teammates. On the other hand, Paul George didn't switch teams. Paul George stayed with the Indiana Pacers. I mean, I, I don't have the roster off the top of my head about um, what players were was moved or stayed with them, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the players that was doing the previous season was on the same team the next season. So he didn't have to deal with um, a new change of scenery. He didn't have to deal with a lot of different things that Gordon Hayward has had to go through. Starting, coming off the bench, trying to get him acclimated to his new team. And then you take a fact of the pressure of the Boston Celtics trying to get back to the NBA Finals. Last season, it was only one game away from getting to the NBA Finals. And you're trying to fit all these new pieces in, not to mention... Uh, Kyrie Irving coming back. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of the new kids, they're itching to play. They're itching to show that, hey, we did it. We was one game away without our main two our main two acquisitions during the offseason. And then also, you were saying, um, two off of TV, you were saying that he only had one really good season. I, I, I disagree with that, my brother. Because if you look at his, look at his last three seasons in Utah, he averaged close to 20 points per game in three his last three seasons in Utah. Uh, his last season, 2016-2017 uh, season, he averaged 22 points a game. Um, look at his numbers right now. Uh, three and a half assists, five rebounds, um, 84% from the free throw line, nearly 40% from three. Uh, you look at the year prior to, prior to that, you look at the... Let me see, what year is this? This is the 2015-2016 season. He's averaging uh, 20 points a game, averaging four assists, five rebounds, 82% uh, free throw line percentage, 35% from three. From the field, 43% field goal percentage. The year prior to that, when he averaged 22, was 47. And then you look at the 2014-2015 season, he averaged 19.3. Uh, four four assists, five rebounds, uh, field goal, uh, free throw percentage, 81%, 36% from three, uh, 45% from the field overall. So he, he he's not just a one-year wonder. I mean, he has had seasons where he's produced and he's played at a, a, a pretty high level. So I, I'm, I've got to give him his credit on that. Now, is he the player of Paul George's caliber? Absolutely not. Do I feel that do I feel that Gordon Hayward was overpaid? Doubly that he the is the money that he the money that he received. Do I feel that Boston Celtics will get their investment back? I don't think so. But I'm not going to take away the player that Gordon Hayward has become in this league. I'm not going to diminish him like that just because he's having a bad season and like I said when you compare the numbers to Paul George he's playing better than Paul George if you want to if you want to take those six games that Paul George played in in the 2014-2015 season and like I said assimilated the amount of games that Gordon Hayward because Gordon play Gordon Hayward has played in 45 games started at 16 his numbers for the most part is better than Paul George but y'all tell me what y'all guys think um, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I'm interested in hearing y'all take on this situation. Um, like I said, um, excellent video by Two Raw for TV, and um, let me know what y'all think, man. Black Reality TV, peace.